During most of your tour, the appropriate information will be automatically selected and displayed for you. Simply touch the area of the screen displaying the appropriate icon. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Voice in our hearing is Richard Tiley. <laughs> we spare no expense. You are now entering the lost world of the prehistoric past, a world with creatures long gone from the face of the earth, which you are privileged to see for the first time. To the right, you will see a herd of the first dinosaurs on our tour, called Dilophosaurus. One of the earliest carnivores, we now know Dilophosaurus is actually poisonous, spitting its venom at its prey, causing blindness and eventually paralysis, allowing the carnivore to eat at its leisure. This makes Dilophosaurus a beautiful but deadly addition to Jurassic Park. Here you see Triceratops. Triceratops is a large ceratopsian that is, a horned and frilled herbivorous dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period, 68 to 65 million years ago in North America. It filled an ecological niche similar to today's bison or American buffalo, roaming the grasslands in massive herds. Although an herbivore, it is one of the park's most dangerous animals. Reaching nearly 30 feet in length and weighing up to 12 tons, its size alone makes for a formidable creature. Sporting a fiery temper and horns of over three feet in length, this is an animal well deserving serious respect in Jurassic Park. Coming up on your left, you will see one of the most popular dinosaurs on the tour, called Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus is perhaps the best known dinosaur in the world, and for good reason. Standing over 13 feet tall at the hips, 40 feet from snout to the tip of its tail, and weighing around 7 tons, T-Rex was one of the largest carnivores ever to walk the earth. Its original home was North America during the late Cretaceous period, 67 to 65 million years ago, where it would stalk Triceratops among other prey. Tyrannosaurus has excellent binocular vision, and hence good depth perception an adaptation essential to a predator. Despite this, observations have shown that T. rex's vision is primarily attuned to motion, supplemented by a remarkable sense of smell. Our living specimens have proven once and for all that T. rex was no slouch, reaching speeds of over 30 miles per hour. <laughs> 